very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking i'm just really so proud and happy and i wanted to share with you what we have done so far with our premium forex signals group and the signals that we have sent to our clients i mean it was just outstanding it was really amazing and i'm so proud to share with you these results i mean even the market is so tough and it's very hard to trade even though regardless of that we were able to deliver these amazing profits and thankfully everyone in the premium group are very happy and pleased with the service as we can see today all of the signals thankfully have reached at least take profit number one and some of them take profit number two eurocad and euro jpy has reached take profit number two 100 pips for each of them and i think today is nearly of 200 pips of profit and yesterday even yesterday guys the market was really tough and the elections was still going on and it was really a tough time for the market even though we have sent these amazing signals and as we can see um pound aud has eventually reached the 120 pips of profit uh, pound uh, jpy 30 pips of profit and yeah that was really amazing and the signals did really so well only one signal uh, sadly hit the, the stop loss euro gpy 20 pips of profit as well so in all in all it was very profitable day for our clients in the premium group and that can be seen in the messages that we are receiving today from the clients another grateful day with target profit thank you angela and sir sala all green today angela great job and thank you and indeed thank you angela for these amazing profits that we have delivered to our clients i'm very happy and very proud of what we are doing in this group and hopefully everything will be going on so well like that so if you if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there this is how the story ends boys seems like mr joe biden is gonna be the next president for the united states and mr donald trump is gonna say goodbye to his position um everything is not finalized yet we have to wait for the last four states to finish the votes however it seems like mr joe biden is very close to get the position or the presidency now we as a traders what we can do about this first of all we need to remember that everything is not hasn't been finalized yet uh anything is possible in the last few seconds don't remember don't forget that last uh, last election in 2016 almost the same thing happened and mr mr uh, trump was actually um was actually yeah, miss hillary clinton was taking the lead of the votes then all of a sudden in the last four hours everything turned around and mr jo mr D donald trump has won the election so uh, everything is possible to happen in the last few hours so anyway, so far from seeing the results and from seeing what's going on so far, we can predict that Mr. Joe Biden is going to be the new president for the United States. And therefore, we as traders, what can we expect from this? Actually, if you check the market, if you remember, guys, from my last video of the weekly analysis, I told you, I told you clearly, if Mr. Joe Biden wins the elections, the USD dollar, the, the, the dollar currency, uh, the US dollar, the USD dollar uh, currency index is going to fall down and hence the market, the euro is going to go up, is going to rise. And um, let's see, euro USD is rising. As I said, all of that only because Mr. Joe Biden is, is getting closer to become the president. Pound USD is also rising, as I told you. Uh, no, actually, I told you that the pound will fall because of the closer, uh, because of the uh, lockdown in England. However, the pound USD right now is rising because of also due to the weakness of the dollar. Uh, AUD USD also rising due to the weakness of the dollar. USD CAD is falling, just exactly what I told you. Uh, USD GPY is falling as well. USD CHF is falling, and the gold is rising just like what i said in the last video amazing man i'm i'm man i'm so proud of my skills <laughs> anyway and uh, let's now talk about what we, what are the opportunities that we can look for if in case mr joe biden really has won the elections and become the new president so this is gonna be like a replacement for the midweek analysis video and please pay attention that next saturday i'm gonna post another uh, analysis it can be a whole different analysis from this one because as i said we are not really sure what will gonna happen yet if mr joe biden or mr trump is gonna win the elections the analysis now is based only on um winning or oh, sorry or 
guys you got the point right <laughs> the whole analysis right now is based only if mr joe biden wins the elections if he loses it this whole analysis is just a waste of time so anyway let's go first to the euro usd now as we can see the euro usd on the daily time frame is rising as we can see the market has actually rejected uh break out breaking out from that support level on 1.16745 and therefore we need now to look for opportunities to buy the pair so let's go now to the four hour time frame and as we can see the market is moving in high volatility and it's going it's just rising up and never stop however uh, you cannot you cannot just expect from the market to continue rising and you cannot just place your buy order right here that's gonna be a big mistake it's a rookie mistake actually so what we are looking for right now is the best levels to start buying the pair now let me just go to the daily candles again and let's throw here a resistance trend line and as we can see the ca the market right now is actually exactly on that on the top of that resistance trend line and there is still a chance that the market might break out from the resistance trend line however of course it's going to break out eventually and the market is going to continue to rise so therefore where is exactly is the best moment to start buying the euro usd now from my experience if i'm not mistaken right here <laughs> just as simple as that <laughs> do not waste your time uh just wanted to say that here exactly is going to be the best level to start buying the pair and if i'm not mistaken also uh, there is a possibility that the market might continue falling actually to this resistance on 1.17702 uh, eventually this is going to be a better entry but however with this with the with the with the power of the um of the rising for the euro against the weak euro, uh, a weak the weak usd it's most likely that the pair is actually going to continue the the rise right away we can just expect a reversal once once the market hits the, hit this uh, strong resistance zone on 1.18695 there is a slight chance that the market might make the pullback just for liquidity and just for retesting the market or the, retesting the support level on 1.18031 eventually the market is going to continue the rise and what i'm trying to say is we can also expect from the pair to fall a little bit more to that resistance on 1.17702 but i think that's going to be it because that was actually the lowest support in long run and it was a strong key support level and if we pay attention the market was not actually able to break out from that support zone in long in long run Eventually, the market was respecting that support for a long time, and therefore, we can expect from the market to respect that level. However, I'm going to send the signal for the midweek analysis that we can start actually buying the euro USD. You know something? I should write here, if Biden won, buy on 1.18031. That's going to be actually more clear because I'm sure um, so many people are skipping the video. I know you i know you very well i know you so let's just be safe and remind everyone that these signals are going to be valid only if mr joe biden uh, actually wins the elections and of course if in case we have bought the euro usd from that point we can actually take uh, take the profit right here exactly right here so we're looking for a profit of almost let's say 100 pips of profit hopefully and therefore take profit is going to be 1.19003 that's uh, our signal for the euro usd and hopefully it's going to work and hopefully it's going to be respected also and again if biden won only now moving to the pound usd pound usd is actually going to be different because as i said before um the pound right now is ranging um it's actually stuck in between the weakness of the usd dollar and of course the weakness of the pound due to the lockdown in england however i think the market has now recovered from the uh, react or from the impact of the lockdown and seems like now the pound usd is rising uh, supported by the weakness of the us dollar so now let's look for the best level to start buying the pound usd and it seems like we're having right here a strong support level exactly it was supporting my theory we are having right here that support level on 1.30030 it was also a fibo 50 retracement however uh, the market actually might reverse even before reaching that zone because it's uh, almost i think yeah 
82 pips uh, far from the entry so therefore um it's actually going to take a while for the market to reach that level so where we can start actually buying the pair let me tell you something that we can start buying the pair exactly from the top of that resistance right here and right here as well and of course right here uh, that resistance has to be retested again at 1.302 double uh, 35 and after that we can start buying the pound usd and let me just mark for you the levels uh exactly like that perfect until fibo 23.8 that's gonna be the safe zone for buying the pound usd and again i will write it if biden won buy at 1.30235 and the target of course is going to be the top of the resistance level right here at FIBO 40, uh, FIBO 100. So we're looking for almost 117 pips of profit. Hopefully, guys, we will make them 1.314 double two. So there goes your analysis for the pound USD, and hopefully, also it's gonna work well. Now moving to the AUD USD. Now for the AUD USD, actually the market has made the breakout from that long run resistance level. As we can see, that resistance was holding for, uh, from uh, 22nd September and also has been retested again on 12th October. And right now, finally, the market has seems uh, it seems like the market has made the, the breakout from the resistance and it's going to continue the rise. So therefore, where we can start buying the AUD USD. Actually, what I'm planning for is buying the AUD USD right here because as we can see the strong rejection on the market once it has reached this level of 0 0.72214 and also it was here a strong support level on the same level as well and right here it was a strong key support level and of course a strong <clears throat> a strong key resistance so we need to wait for the AUD USD to, to reverse for another 22 pips before it's going to be good for the buy however just for the safety and because the market is going to get crazy these times I'm going to just make it more safe let me explain to you the reason because i'm seeing this week right here and let me explain to you more let's go even to the one hour time frame so on the one hour time frame we can see right here that the market has actually made the breakout from the resistance and what we are having right here is simply a support number one so we can expect from the market to fall more to create support number two and from that point it's gonna be good for the buy and it seems like it's gonna make an actually another attempt to retest the resistance so AUD USD should be good for the buy if Biden won by 0 0.72077 and the safe zone of course is going to be ranging until that next support level right here so we're looking for only 40 pips for the AUD USD uh, it doesn't really need more than that so there goes the safe zone for the AUD USD. And if in case that breakout has happened, we can look at the target of the resistance at 0 0.73250. That's going to be our target. Let me just decrease it a little bit like that. Yes, perfect. And let's now uh, make the take profit at 0 0.73214. Again, hopefully it's also going to work out as a good signal and we'll make some good profits out of it. USD CAD is sinking and still sinking and seems like it's going to continue continue the fall again if mr biden wins how many times i have to say that so uh let's go back to the daily candles and see what our what our chances now the market as we can see is facing a strong support level right here on let me just rise it like that um, my, my eyes are actually looking here guys just for your information so you can learn also and just like that all right perfect now after fixing my my support line based on that support here on the rejection of 1.30439 we can see that the market actually has made the attempt to break out from that support several days actually for more than a, for almost for a week and eventually it has failed and right now the market is rising uh, sorry it's falling again retest is, is now visiting the very same place or the same level of the support now if they have announced the results earlier than what it's supposed to be it's gonna make the, the bearish break out right away 
However, from my point of view, we can expect from the market to actually uh, rise or make actually the, the reversal just to retest the broken uh, support. And after that, it's going to continue the fall. So we can expect from the USD CAD to rise again for another 40 pips. And after that, it's going to be good for the short. So uh, use if Biden won sell on 1.31031. Sorry, 31. And the safe zone this time is not going to be ranging for uh, a lot mm, until only the top of that resistance right here and right here. So we are looking for a safe zone of 48 or almost 50 pips only, no more. And I'm just wrong for you this, the edge of the safe zone, just like that. And of course, in case we have sold USD CAD at that level, we can actually set the tech profit level to be at the lowest level of the support at 1.2957 so we are looking for a profit of almost 100 of pips now let me just write for you to take profit 1.2957 again hopefully also it's gonna be a good signal now use the gpy is a completely different story use the gpy is really falling and finally it has made the bearish breakout from that long run support which has been lasting actually since last june and actually we can see no actually it was lasting since march then in june and again in september and finally uh, end of october this level of the support has been retested and finally it has made the breakout as i told you my friends the usd gpy is falling because of the going in the unknown with the uh, relationship between united states and china and we really don't know how Mr. Joe, Mr. Joe Biden is going to handle this, uh, the commercial, commercial war that Mr. Trump potentially has left for him. So what does that mean? That means uh, USDGPY is actually going to continue the fall. And it's really hard to predict how this pair is going to move right now. However, we have to see what we can do as a Forex traders. I'm telling you that we are hoping for the market to reverse uh, during the night um until the elections uh, will be finalized and therefore we can actually start shorting after 30 after uh, the pullback for another 37 pips so in other words if biden won sell at 104.026 that's gonna be actually the best level to start shorting the usd gpy and honestly speaking i doubt if it's even gonna reach that level in my opinion from my point of view I believe the USD GPY is gonna continue the fall immediately or right away. I think it's really difficult for the pair to make any pullbacks. However, as a traders, we always have to be safe uh, no matter what happen. And of course, guys, please don't, 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 don't just listen to this analysis blindly. Also, you can add your own skills and your own knowledge to understand if uh, you agree with me, you can go for it. You can just use a small lot sizes because as I told you, it's really crazy time to trade the market during these elections. Anyway, if we are lucky enough, we can expect from the pair to reach that long run support, which has been never visited again since um, March since the spread of the coronavirus of course so this is going to be our take profit level take profit level is going to be 103.087 again also hopefully really is going to be a good signal for everyone now let's look at the usd chf the usd chf is also keep falling more and more and seems like it's gonna actually make the reversal right here uh, is going to start making the pullback after hitting that support level at 0 0.9390 so i think if i'm not mistaken uh the the uccchf is actually going to make a strong a small pullback only until right here just to hit that resistance right here and also if i'm if i'm not mistaken there was also a resistance on the left exactly <clears throat> exactly right here that resistance right here is also going to be retested and seems like the pair is actually going to continue the fall and eventually it's actually going to make the, the bearish breakout from the support on 0 0.90390. So that's actually going to be a better level to start sorting the, the, the USDCHF. We need to wait for the pair to rise for another 33 pips just for the pullback. So therefore, if Biden won, sell as 0 0.90711. 
and the safe zone is gonna be, is gonna be ranging until the top of that resistance. So we're looking for 45 pips only uh, as a safe zone. Let me just draw it for you like that, and perfectly fine. And if if that happens, we are looking for shorting the pair until it reaches the lowest level of the support. For, so we're looking for almost 72 72 pips of profit from shorting the USD CHF. Notice that the targets are small right uh, this week because actually you know um, we are only having just another. Actually, you can say these signals are valid for tomorrow only for Friday. It all depends on what will gonna happen on the elections. So take profit is what, zero point. A double nine, a two. Again, also hopefully is gonna work as a good signals. Now moving to the gold because I'm excited to go to the gold. Now the gold actually has made the bear, the bullish breakout from that long run resistance trend line. As we can see, it has been respected since last uh, uh, August, and the pair has kept respecting that level until finally, finally, it has made the bullish breakout candle. Now what we can expect from the gold is actually gonna reverse right now. At the top of that resistance level and after that it's actually gonna uh, fall a little bit more just to retest that broken sub resistance trend line and eventually it's gonna continue to rise we just need to change the line here it's not to, it's not in the right way that's better so let me just write for you where we can start buying the gold remember that the gold is moving in very high volatility right now so we have to be careful and wise about uh, buying the gold right now however um i always advise everyone to be careful when they are trading the gold because it's a very sensitive pair and please be sure to use a small lot sizes when you are trading it so as I, as i was saying the gold is gonna definitely reverse right now at the, at the resistance and it's gonna fall actually it's already falling um it's gonna continue the fall just to retest the broken resistance trend line and eventually gonna rise of course that is all supported by the news about mr joe biden winning the elections so far uh, i told you my friends that i have to remind you again only if mr joe biden wins the elections the gold is gonna rise and the dollar is gonna get weaker and therefore we can start buying the gold right away if mr joe biden wins the elections so uh, just to have a safe entry i'm gonna send you the signal that we can start buying the gold if biden won buy the gold at 1916.18 actually this is gonna be a really good entry to start buying the gold and the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for quite long only until here the lowest level of the support my eyes was looking here and as we can see the same level also was a support right here and it was a long run resistance so therefore the safe zone is going to be ranging only for uh, almost 100 pips however the target we're aiming is actually going to be that look at the my cursor the mouse i'm looking right here that's going to be our target the resistance right there so we are looking for almost 200 and almost 250 pips of profit Hopefully we will make them from this trade. So the target is 1,940.83. I just want to remind everyone to please be careful, guys. The market is so crazy right now. It's, it's, it's insane what's happening. Um, we have to be very careful about these trades. Please keep in mind, these signals are only based on Mr. Joe Biden winning. And eventually, and even though, even if he won, they might be still not valid. It all depends on what we what we are going to hear. Um, for example, what if Mr. Trump has opened the case or has sued uh, Joe Biden if he is not satisfied about the way the way he have won the elections? Of course, that's gonna change everything. We have to prepare and see what will gonna be what will gonna happen. How, how Mr. J uh, Trump is gonna react to this to the results of the elections it's all playing these major roles in the end it, it, the analysis is just an analysis it's not it's not telling you what will gonna happen in the future we cannot be sure there is not a single trader in this world knowing what will gonna happen these are just predictions these are the analysis only and if you think that if this analysis went wrong 
and then mean it means that Salah he doesn't know what he's doing then I'm just sorry maybe this channel is not for you I'm sorry I, I know you don't like me to say that but however I just wanted to defend myself because you have no idea what kind of messages I'm receiving and I just wanted to be sure that I'm clearing this point that these are the very very unbelievably tough times to trade forex we are doing our best uh, the premium signals group is doing its best as well and me also I'm doing here my best and hopefully uh, I'm, I, we will be able uh, to help everyone uh, following this channel. So, in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.